If your experience is anything like mine, then trying to get smooth tracking shots for product B-roll, particularly if you're shooting handheld, can be a real challenge. Something like this auto dolly from Niwa could be the kind of thing that can really help you get those smoother results that you're looking for. I bought this product with my own money on Amazon in the UK. It was £65 and there are several things that you get in the package. First of all, there's the auto dolly itself, which has a really decent solid feel to it. It feels pretty good quality, uh, definitely for that money. It inspires confidence with its kind of weightiness. Um, there's a good degree of, I guess, aluminium construction, um, along with some good quality hard plastics as well. Feels like it would last well. Also in the box, there's a remote control, which enables you to control the movement of the dolly from a distance of some description, not particularly far away, but far away enough for uh, trying to do some in-studio or at your desk uh, products video. So really what that gives you the ability to do is to start and stop the motion of the dolly itself and reverse the motion as well. Importantly included, again, is another nice feeling piece of equipment here. Let's see if we can get the camera to latch onto it. There we go. Which is uh, at one side a quarter inch thread and on the other a three eighths inch thread, which you can mount into one of the two positions on the dolly itself to either mount the camera directly or to attach something like a ball head joint to give you a little bit more flexibility on how you place the camera to set the shots up that you need to do. Also included is an Allen key, and that is for adjusting these hex bolts that attach the wheels to the frame of the dolly, so that once you've set the desired angle for your particular tracking shot, you can be confident that you've tightened them sufficiently to keep them in place and track as you expect the shot to. On the wheels themselves, you have these rubberized tires effectively. They can be removed and replaced, so there's one replacement in the box to reduce the amount of noise uh, and get a smoother glide on a surface. And to charge the onboard battery, there's an included cable which is USB-A to mini USB on this end. Once it's powered on, you can see that by adjusting this button here, we can increase the speed. There are three different settings. So that lends an additional degree of flexibility to what you can do with your tracking shots using that dolly. If the mission is to get perfection in smoothness in camera, then I had some mixed results. It worked really well when I was using my EOS RP body, even with a fairly sizable lens, so a prime 24 mm lens that probably weighs around about 700 grams. However, when I mounted a heftier camera body on there, so my uh, Canon 5DS, there was a little bit more vibration as the product struggled to, to support the weight of the camera, I think. Which is probably understandable because I was likely pushing the limits of the weight that's stated in the instruction manual in any case. For the record, three kilograms, full power, moving on a horizontal space in a straight line. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like or even consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.